是就是。It was the week before Christmas and 28 degrees Celsius in the middle of Taiwan. I was told the engineers were testing out some new AI equipment on electric forklifts, so I decided to follow them to see if any kind of story would come up. Today. Uh, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> okay. Oh man. No, I'm. I'm trying to figure out how to position this video. Okay. Um, we're making. We've been sent here, kind of on a whim, to make a video about um, installing the system on an electronic, or sorry, an electric forklift. Um, but that's that's pretty much. <laughs> that's like all I know. So I'm just trying to figure out how to make. A video about that. Okay. Yeah. I was expecting lab coats and clipboards, but there were none. There were no vernier calipers, test tubes, or crash test dummies. It was engineering in the real world, the same world that I live in. Not the sterile white rooms and glass doors that you see in movies. <laughs> Do you know what's going on right now with what they're doing? Well, um, from what I can tell, yeah, they're just kind of wiring up the cameras and the power and just testing to make sure it works on this type of forklift. And then they're going to test out some new software updates and stuff as well. Okay, cool. Yeah. So right now you're just kind of figuring out where you can even yeah, cut the thing? Yeah, okay. yeah gotcha. because like the, for, the EV, for the EV vehicles, there's, a, there's many things that are different than the, 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 the gas. gas. The, the, Combustion uh, engine. Yeah, yeah, gas yeah. Green engine. Now more than ever, the popularity of online shopping has placed a massive demand on the logistics industry as a whole. At the same time, there's a pending changeover from combustion engines that run on fossil fuels to electric motors and e vehicles. This changeover is likely to last a long time, especially where forklifts and other industrial vehicles are concerned. So one of the obvious problems is that I'm not an engineer, so like trying to figure out what to film, I just look for wherever mo the most hands are, I guess. Like Tony's hands are always doing something, so I just film a lot of Tony doing stuff. <laughs> this is Tony, by the way. Hey, <laughs> If too many people order too many packages, it sends a ripple around the world that often translates into injuries and sometimes even death in the logistics industry. And now it's left up to the engineers to solve the looming safety problem. Hence, being in the midday heat in the middle of Taiwan a few days before Christmas. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right. If you can just give me a summary on how, how it went, how's it going so okay. far? Well, I think today so far so good because we already tested one vehicle and it seems okay. And uh, we're trying to test the other vehicles right now. So yeah, it's, it goes fine. Yeah? yeah? Did you learn a lot from today? Like was there uh, a lot of notes taken? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because this the, the Hangta forklift is, is new to me. So. Right. Right. It has different methods to do, do the connection stuff. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so well, that's great. It sounds promising. <laughs> People in North America are shopping online at an all time high, but it's 10,000 kilometers across the ocean where you can actually see the effects. If there's one thing I've learned here, it's that these engineers are real people who really do care about the operators who use their product, even if they are strangers on the other side of the planet. Okay, 
So next time you order a package online, remember the forklift drivers who are working through the holidays to make yours special. And remember the engineers that are trying to keep them safe. Stay up to date on this story and others by subscribing. And don't forget to check the links in the description.